Hi there, my name is Alex Marchant and I am an iOS engineer at FileCloud. And today I'm going to be taking you over what has changed in the 23.232 release in iOS. So the first feature that we're going to be looking at is the grid view magnification gesture. We've now given you the ability to change the size of the thumbnails by using the pinch or magnification gestures on your device to change the thumbnail size to suit your personal preference. The second gesture support we have brought to FileCloud is drag and drop. Now, if you would like to move an item in the files list, you can drag that selected item to another folder within the current folder, a folder in the breadcrumb trail, or even another app outside of FileCloud on your device. Furthermore, if you would like to upload an item to FileCloud, you can drag that item from another app into FileCloud and it will be uploaded at the selected location. You might notice when performing your drag and drop operations that a view appears from the bottom of the screen. This is the new file operations view, formerly known as the transfers view. This view shows you the history of your transfers during this app session, so anything that is, was, or will be uploaded or downloaded to the server, and any file operations you have performed. The operations tab is the one you won't have seen before. Now when you attempt to move or copy a file or a folder in FileCloud, it will be tracked here just like the uploads or downloads in the transfers tab. However, some move or copy operations might require a follow-up action from you to decide what the server should do. So for example, if you copy a file to a location that already contains that file, you will need to tell the server whether it should create a duplicate or not. You will be made aware that an operation or transfer requires your attention with a red notification icon in the tab headers area whilst the file operations pane is expanded. When in a collapsed state, a red notification icon containing a number that denotes the total number of operations and or transfers that require your attention will be shown. You can also now open the file operations pane by opening the drawer and selecting file operations. Though the transfers tab within the file operations pane has not changed, we have added extra support for transfers to help you keep track of your uploads and downloads whilst not viewing the FileCloud app. With this release, FileCloud now supports live activities for uploads and downloads. That means that when you start either of these operations, you can now either lock your phone or put FileCloud into the background and see the current state of that operation without needing to view the FileCloud app to check on the progress. If you have an iPhone with the Dynamic Island feature, this state will be shown in the dynamic island, which you can expand for more information. If you do not have a phone with the dynamic island feature, you can simply view your phone's lock screen by either locking it or swiping down from the top to see the live activities. The next feature that is now supported in iOS is file locking. You can now lock a file or folder from iOS to ensure nobody else can change the contents before you unlock it. You can set an expiration date, and decide whether other users can view the contents within the locked file or folder whilst it is locked. When you want to remove the lock from the file or folder, you can do so by simply tapping the unlock option in the more actions view. And finally, if your server supports it, you now have the ability to set the DRM settings of a share from iOS. Within the share permissions, you will now see a new option reading, allow anyone with secure web viewer link and password Setting this value will allow you to change the associated settings to this DRM share, meaning you can change the password, decide whether you should enable protected view or not, and or limit the number of access times for this share. That's everything for the 23.232 release for iOS. We hope that you find the news changes useful and don't forget to reach out to support for any questions or feedback that you may have.